Okay then, um, at the moment, this guy just kind of stops very definitely. Um, and what we're going to do is just expand that a little bit, just to um, alleviate some of that. So to do that, we're going to use the clone stamp tool, which is this little chappy here. Okay, and we're going to take parts of the sky that are already existing, and we're just going to change those. So make sure that you are on the sky layer by selecting it, and then you're just going to select um, a part of the sky that you think is interesting that you might want to reuse up here and pressing the alt key and you should see your icon change to this little chappy here um, so I'm going to select just here and then you can paint with that color up here so I'm just gonna use that to add in a little bit more sky um, and I'm gonna get that and just paint up here as well Okay, and you can see already the top of the sky just looks a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to grab a bit more from here and just paint in a bit more over here. Um, let's grab some of this wispy cloud from here and I'll just paint some of that in. And let's have which which would I like now? Um, maybe a bit of clear sky. So I'll sample that, paint that in. I don't like that. I'm gonna remove that. Um, let's take some more dark clouds. So I'll grab some of that. And just by doing this, just layering up a bit more sky, just to make that look a tad more interesting. Like that. Okay, I'm happy with that now. So quite turbulent cloud up here. Um, so. I'm quite satisfied with that, I'll leave that as it is. Right, what we're going to do next is we're going to add you know, what's called an adjustment layer. We're going to use lots of these and this is what's going to form the basis of our non-destructive editing. Okay, so that is um, that is what's going to really add all the effects to this. So what I'm going to do is to create a new um, adjustment layer. I'm going to click on this icon here. So click and I want a new gradient map so that's one just here like that now as you can see that's cocked up at the moment because I need to set these colors up so to do that I'm just gonna going to double click on that and then we can see that I can set my colors now this color here I want to be black that's right but this color over here I want to be dark gray so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to set the, the hex value to 68, 68, 68 for this one. And that'll set the shade of grey that I'm looking for. And then I can just click on OK there. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity of this gradient map on the layer here to 80%, mm, just so it's not too strong, the effect that it's having. So you can see already that that's having an effect on the sky. Now in the layer mask of the gradient map, which is that bit there, we want to do a little bit of painting. So put your brush tool on, um, set your brush to black as the foreground colour, which mine is already. Make sure your opacity is at 100 and make sure you've got a soft, um, a soft brush on and we're just going to paint just sort of around here just to make this a bit more interesting so I'm going to fill in the middle like so and that's just going to add an effect to the edge of this image okay so that's come together quite nicely okay um, what you need to do now is make sure that this is clipped to the sky layer uh, which it should already be so as you can see if I try to do that now it would just release the clipping mask which would do that but I want to make sure that it is a clipping mask so it's just clipping um, to the sky layer as you can see it is which is absolutely what we want um, but this is now no longer clipped to the sky layer so I'm just going to reclip that there we go so that's 
my image as it should stand so far. Okay, so hopefully um, at this stage we've got quite similar looking images. Uh, I think what I might do at this stage is just on this here, um, I'll just have a look at the opacity. I don't want it to be too strong, so I'm just going to make that about 65. I think that's a bit better. Okay, right, we're going to continue with these clipping masks over the, the next few steps. Um, just to keep changing this sky, make it more interesting, to give it the bleak sort of feel that we're looking for. Um, so I think we'll leave this step for here and we'll pick it up in the next video.